Then you would see Sunday, you have a checklist. Well, you know, some of the things that we didn't do well against Davidson that we've talked about and we've tried to improve on this week to see that we're making progress to be as alert mentally enough to do those things, as well as uh, there was a bunch of them, to be quite honest with you, Rob, that we got to get better. Uh, but we always are looking for the kind of effort that it takes to compete at the highest level. But we want the concentration to details to be better. What did you see that your team didn't do well against Davidson? Well, a little bit of everything in terms of consistency. You know, what we talk about, you know, trying to do really execute the fundamentals of the game, whether it's passing, uh, fighting for your space on the court, rebounding both ways, and uh, defensively, early gaps, getting there, doing your job, doing doing your work early. And uh, so, I mean, I certainly don't want us to be the best we're going to be right now, but we just know that each day now you've got to continue to build on the areas that we're continuing to get better with. What is one thing you want to see from this team during this exhibition game on Sunday? You know, great effort, great uh, intensity, and Rob, is that your call? <laughs> it must be. I'm going to go check and see if somebody's slow. I hope they're drilling a hole in it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, great effort, um, and that that's in every uh, area of the game. I, I want to see our guys, uh, we as a staff want to see our guys with the concentration in terms of, uh, you know, we're not going to know as much about them as we would because they've got a lot of new players and we haven't exchanged any practice tape or anything like that. So it won't be a normal prep the way we would normally like to do it. But in some ways that's good because uh, you're going to have to be on the edge. You're going to have to be ready to help each other. And right now where we are as a team, that's probably a good thing. Is JP limited at all? Kind of what's the effect of this? Yeah, he is. And, and Jemai too. You know, he, uh, they both uh, hit knees the other day in practice and uh, they both have been uh, hampered by that. But we'll see today. I think they'll both will do a little bit and then we'll see by tomorrow and then we'll see by what how it happens. But if not, it's just an opportunity for some guys that probably wasn't sure how much they would play. Gives them a chance to be ready to see what they can do. Are you going in with any scripted minutes for guys like Zakai or probably going to play a lot this no, year? No, we'll no. Uh, we'll we'll just play it. But I mean we're gonna we, we know we want to get looks with a lot of different guys and maybe some different uh, lineups, but if we don't have a full roster of guys, I'm not sure how much we can do that. How much do these exhibitions help you understand your rotation and hammer it out a little bit, if at all? Well, I think it's going to help both of us a lot because, one, I'm sure, like all college players right now, we're all ready to start playing games. And I'm sure that, you know, I know you know, I have a great deal of respect for Mike Woodson and how he coaches and how he plays and what he does to put his players in great positions uh, on the court where they need to be. and try to get them the ball and let them go to work and uh, solid defensively. And so with that said, uh, we're going to have to get our guys out there and hope that uh, some of them will be the first time this group has been together and when there's actually fans in the stands. And I'm sure there, some of them will handle it different than others. But these are good. They, I mean, these exhibition games are really good. Even the close scrimmage against Davidson was, was great for us. I've said many times, I think, with as long as we practice now, we need to have about five of these because not only does it help us, uh, I think we cut down on some injuries in practice because we go at each other so long. And, and I've said many times it would help referees to get their feet on the ground, get going. And um, that's something I hope that going forward at NCAA will take a look at. What kind of strides has Cam Carr made? You know what, he, he has stacked together a, a uh, pretty good last 10 days and uh, that's what we're looking for the consistency uh, in the right areas that we need him to be good and it's uh, we think he's got a chance to be an outstanding all-around player but uh, the biggest thing I guess with he and all of our younger guys is the consistency in terms of being able to play at a level when they start getting fatigued can they maintain and not uh, let fatigue be the reason they make mistakes how would you assess like his knowledge or understanding of like the sets and schemes that you're trying to put in place? Well, I think he understands uh, what we're doing, but it's a matter of executing it at a high level with uh, knowing that other teams are trying to keep you from doing what you want to do on both ends of the court. And so that's where uh, I do think he's gotten better with cardio toughness. But I would say uh, our team right now, we've got two, maybe three guys that are probably ready to 
go at the, that level the way we want to, and these other guys need to get there. Coach, do you have you know what your rotation looks like yet, or like, like the eight, eight or nine guys who are going to play, or are you still figuring it no, out? No, you know, I think I, I mean, our plan would be to play everyone. That's, that would be our plan, and I think we will do that in, in this game, um, certainly, because if we play the way we want to play, we're going to need all of them. Now, I don't know exactly how much we'll be allowed or be able to use JP or, or Jemai, with that said, but uh, our plan would be to play all 11 scholarship players. How important is the atmosphere in this kind of game for those new guys, like in terms of what y'all learned at well, Michigan State last year? You know, I think it's good in the fact that it's going to be the first time they put on the uniforms and everything. We didn't do that last week. We sometimes do that in the exhibition game, but we didn't do it last weekend. And the fact that it will be a, a prep being a three o'clock game, we'll go through it like we will on every game day from here on out. Uh, you know, we again we weren't able to do that uh, last week exactly the way we want to do it. We'll get close to being able to assimilate how we do things. And that'll be a, in itself a huge thing for our younger guys. We actually will start today doing some of those things so they get acclimated to what they'll be able to look at over the next really, hopefully 35, 40 games. Zakai turns an ankle or is it foul trouble? What do you do? Who's, who's, who's it would be, you know, we, we got, uh, you know, we played a lot of different guys there at the point of Jordan is ready, you know, he'll play that spot some, so Ken Bishop, Chaz has done it, uh, Jemai Meshack's done it, and I mean, uh, Z actually was the one to remind me, uh, we were kidding around the other day when we were on our way to the SEC meeting, he said, Coach, you do know that Shaq was a point guard and that when we went to the Sweet 16. So we, we've got guys that, that, I mean, that can step in there. Would they be at his level? Probably not, but they can, they can certainly do the job. Would you like, would you not like from Chaz in last week's scrimmage? There, I'm, I'm not sure there's nothing really uh, I didn't like. I don't, after games like that, you look at the things they can improve on. And as long as the effort's being made, we can deal with that. And I thought he tried to make the effort that we're asking him to do. The know-how, the, the still learning the system where he's got to be and the extra winning plays you got to make is some of that's new to him. but. Uh, it, it, he, he wants to do it. There's no question about that. Two more for Coach. How much do these scrimmages help young guys like Bishop Boswell experience something bigger rather than just facing his own teammates? Because he's never been on the stage before. I, I, I think it's huge. That's why I, I mentioned I wish we played more of them because I think anytime you can get outside competition. And, and, and I, again, like I, I say, I mean, when you practice you know, as much as we do, they're ready. I mean, they were ready probably a month ago to start playing somebody else because we've been going at each other so long. And, and it's not just, it's every team in the country. I mean, I think any, you talk to all athletes at what, where our schedule is now and the way our calendar is set up, they're ready to play. And uh, like I said, I think it helped a lot of uh, ways that we could do more of these. And But the fact is, um, it'll be the first time experience for some of them, even the older guys, the guys that have come in, that are seniors out of the portal. They're gonna, it'll be all new for them. How would you say the transfers and the returners are kind of meshing on the court together, especially after that scrimmage? Well, I think I don't, uh, again, I think we're gonna uh, mesh in terms of, uh, because they like each other, they wanna do well. Now, in terms of uh, continuing to understand what they have to do, that's still gonna be a uh, work in progress. And as the year goes on, we'll have to make adjustments because our players will make us make some adjustments. And uh, so with that said, uh, we just want to see certain guys do certain things and if they can do those things, then we can add and build on to it. But if they don't, it slows us down and then we might have to pivot and go a different way. But uh, the fact is uh, right now is a chance to see what a lot of them can do when against outside competition. Thanks, Coach.